Can you hear me, Cheryl? Yes, I can, John. Okay, did you find the number? Uh, I just sent it to the link. I guess she said it's all different um, okay. depending on, on um, what, when they registered, I guess. Are we ready to begin? Yes, sure. Hello, everyone. We're so excited tonight to have our guest speaker, Dr. Cheryl Duchess. She is a certified naturopathic doctor, master herbalist, national public speaker, certified nutraceutical consultant, and a national supervising coordinator with Market America. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Cheryl. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. It is my pleasure, and I'm excited to be um, sharing with you tonight. Um, it is my passion to help people reach optimal health, because our health is so, so important. So I welcome everybody to the webinar. And without further ado, I'm just going to get right started. Um, uh, I am a naturopathic doctor, and uh, I do want to make sure that everybody understands that this presentation is not intended to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease or condition or recommend a cure for any condition. But I want to give you some powerful education tonight that I think that can be absolutely life-changing for those of you listening in. Um, so my question to you, if you're listening in, is, what are your health goals? Do you wake up in the morning and feel like this picture, ready to start the day, bursting with energy and vibrant health, mentally sharp, emotionally grounded and spiritually strong, lean, the right body weight, and physically active? That's my definition of good health. And so we all need to strive for that no matter where you are in your journey. Um, if you're not waking up that way, you want to start to be a good detective and look at ways that you can balance your body. So it's much easier to correct things before they get very serious. I want to talk real quickly about your digestive tract. If you're looking at this picture like, wow, that's a wake-up call. Well, so many uh, things in your health rely on your digestive tract. In fact, without a healthy GI tract and without uh, proper nutrients, it's impossible to get healthy because every part of your body is connected to that. Okay, so, so over 60% of your lymphatic system is connected to that. Your circulatory system depends, your cells, everything depends on, your, on your, the health of your digestion. So I want to talk a little bit about your diet before we dive into some other things. The typical American diet is basically killing us, okay? We've been eating foods because they taste good. And look at this picture. We're looking at donuts that are loaded with sugar and hydrogenated oil, fried chicken and french fries. And you're like, oh, man, some of these are my favorite things. The problem is they really are having playing havoc in our diet, in our, in our health. Um, so too much sugar, too much trans fats, too many carbohydrates, and it leads to being overweight and a, a whole host of health conditions. So we don't want to do that. So this, this is just a picture of one of the demonstrations that I do when I do a live talk of a pantyhose simulating your colon. And when you eat unhealthy, this is exactly what happens. Your colon is about five feet long, and that food can actually build up in there, and it can cause what we call auto-intoxication and leak toxins out into your bloodstream. If that food stays in there more than 24 hours or 48 hours, it begins to rot, and that will play havoc on the rest of your health. And so it is so important that we eat whole, healthy foods and we go to the outer part of the grocery store, not up and down the aisles, and get rid of the processed foods. Because I know this is a gross picture, but we all need to be aware that what we put in our bodies has a lot to do with your health. So the next thing I want to talk about is when we have been exposed to the typical American diet and chemicals in our life, we, get a, we really do have a high percentage of people in this country that have problems with their liver and problems with their colon. And these symptoms can be affecting you, things like headaches, chronic fatigue, skin disorders, eczema, psoriasis, body odor, uh, you know, poor sleeping habits, uh, feeling very dull when you wake up in the morning, almost like a hangover. All of these can indicate that there's toxins in your body that need to be removed if you want to get to really good health. Because these toxins have to go somewhere, so they'll go out through your skin, they go out you know, into the cells, 
and it can really, uh, really affect your health. So one of the things, especially since it's the new year, 2015, that I always share with people is it's a really good idea to do cleansing, cleansing the liver and cleansing the bowel. And this first thing is I want to tell you about is there's a seven-day kit that is so effective. It's so simple to use. It has a liver formula. It has a release formula, so it opens up the bowel. And it has a fiber with L-glutamine that actually helps to heal the GI tract and repair damage to the GI tract. So if you haven't done a cleanse in a while, usually after the first of the year, you want to shed a few pounds. This is a really good idea. So make sure you check out that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but I truly believe that cleansing can be very effective for all of us. Um, the next slide that I want to do, yep, I'm sticking here. Okay, my computer is frozen. Oh, there we go. Okay, the next slide I wanted to show you uh, is a good friend of mine that she lost over 8.5 pounds during a week detox using that seven-day cleanse and a lot of fruits and vegetables. And now she's down over 32 pounds. She did that in 12 weeks. I'll be sharing more about that. But cleansing can really help you jumpstart a weight loss program. I just wanted to share that with you. Now, going along that same path of digestion, Aloe juice is so powerful. It's been used since, you know, way back, you know, in the early, you know, 17, 1800s. Uh, and so aloe juice can affect your GI tract and many other parts of the body. If you're on the, on the webinar and you're like, I suffer with acid reflux or irritable bowel or constipation on a chronic basis, aloe juice could be the perfect fit for you. It helps to um, actually stimulate the mucus lining of the, of the stomach to kind of regrow re the epithelial cells. It also helps to support healthy blood sugars. And it really helps you digest your food. So as I said before, how it works is it has these polysaccharides that are anti-inflammatory agents. And so they buffer. Um, any type of acid damage and stimulate that mucus secretion inside of your gut, both of the stomach area, the esophageal area, and the large and small intestines. So it really helps to repair. And then it stimulates, again, the growth of the epithelial cells. And it also activates what we call natural killer cells, which are the white blood cells that will attack viruses. So right now, during flu and cold season, it's a really good idea to have aloe juice on hand for the entire family, and even children can take the aloe juice. It's very effective for viruses and immune stimulation. The other thing that aloe does that many people don't realize is it's been studied to actually stabilize blood sugar. As you can see in the study here, 94% of the patient's blood sugar returned to normal in this study with 100 grams of aloe gel twice a day. And this is just showing you the white microphage attacking the virus. So that's what aloe does. So again, um, with all the flus and colds going around, aloe, you should take probably about two to four ounces a day just as a maintenance program. And then if you're sick, you can actually increase that to several cups a day. Uh, and it's totally safe to take. It also is incredibly good for your skin. One of the things that I teach people is things that can cause allergies is what we call leaky gut syndrome. And that's in the small intestines. If you can see here how red and inflamed the small intestines is, if the proteins from your diet, like from dairy and wheat and gluten, gluten leak out of this intestines, the body sees it as a foreign invader, and you will develop autoimmune diseases and allergies. And so one of the things that we can do to get to the direct cause of that is do something like aloe. And aloe can help to calm and soothe, and so this, the small intestines get healthier, thus getting more to the root cause of why someone might be suffering with autoimmune disease, like even um, rheumatoid arthritis or fibromyalgia or any of the autoimmune diseases. So aloe juice is huge for that. Um, they are not all created equal. The one I'm talking about right now has 150% uh, concentrated aloe in it because they take the freeze-dried aloe and then they inject whole leaf aloe with the freeze-dried aloe so it gets 150 uh, percent concentration. Very powerful. I've never seen one as strong as this. 
and it comes in different flavors. Um, and I absolutely love the pomegranate. Somebody, some people love the strawberry and even natural flavors. So again, taking two to four ounces of this a day, if, you're, if you want a healthy GI tract, this should be part of everybody's program. The aloe was certified and won the International Council Award to be one of the top aloes, if not the top aloe in, on the market. And so uh, you can't get anything better. And when you go to the health food store, many times you get very watered down products that really won't give you the concentration you need to be medicinal. So I love this one. It comes in a juice where you want to open it up, keep it in the refrigerator, and then this is for traveling, or maybe you just like to pour that in, in some water, but that's really great too. So that's how they come. Uh, really highly recommend that. Other thing while well, I'm talking on uh, digestion, is enzymes. Enzymes are so important because when we, when we utilize our food, the enzyme activity of your stomach needs to break down that food. And so when we don't have proper amount of hydrochloric acid or pepsin or lactose, we can get a lot of indigestion and real problems. And if you're not breaking down your food, you're not going to get the nutrients. So people that suffer with constipation, bloating, allergies, ulcers, those kind of things who really do well with the digestive enzyme. And uh, I want to talk to you a little bit more about what's going on in the medical community. So many times we're taking like NSAIDs that can cause ulcers and things like that. And what people do as a result of acid reflux, they'll take like Tums or Pepsid or Rolaids. And if you take these and even prescription medication on a regular basis, you're blocking your stomach acid. And that's really not good. Long term, that can lead to osteoporosis and other uh, nutrient deficient diseases. So you really want to try to stay away from these kind of things and use a more natural approach. And that's where the aloe and the digestive enzyme come into play. This particular one is in an isotonic format, which I'll discuss in a few minutes. But it comes in packets and in a 90-day serving, 90 servings, and it's wonderful. It has amylase, protease, cellulase, and it just basically works. If you pour this over a bowl of oatmeal, it will liquefy it in just a few minutes. So it really eases the uh, strain on the stomach. So it won't, it won't in trigger your stomach to produce too much acid. So it's kind of you know, doing it the right way versus blocking stomach acid, which is you don't want to do. It's not healthy. The other thing that, you know, um, we're talking about uh, digestive, if people have bloating or they have um, diarrhea or constipation or they've been on antibiotics, probiotics are so important because we want to stabilize these friendly bacteria. They are so healthy for your immune, for bowel regularity, for stomach comfort. If you're swelling and bloating all the time, it might be that you are lacking in these friendly bacteria. And there's a big buzz when you go to the news on friendly bacteria, but I wanted to give you the right way to understand it. The friendly, unfriendly bacteria, we, have, we should have a little of that in our gut. But when we eat the typical American diet or we take antibiotics, we're drinking coffee, we're destroying these friendly bacteria. And these are your friends. There's what's going to balance your immune system, help you to keep from getting a yeast infection. It's your first line of defense towards um, you know, flus and colds and, and, and really healthy immune. So it's critical that you have this balanced. And we need 80% friendly bacteria and 20% unfriendly bacteria in order to be healthy. But because of our diet, these bad guys overtake these good guys, and it leads into a lot of health challenges. So to repopulate them, you have to do it in stronger numbers. You really do. You want to do these in a large amount. So this particular one I'm talking about has 10 different strands and 10 billion units. So it, it, in other words, it's going to stabilize the different types of friendly bacteria that we need, like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but these are critically important to help to restabilize. So uh, the difference of this, again, in what you're going to get in most other places and health food stores, the strength of it, the strands, and then how it's delivered. It's in a special delivery system called Live Back and BioTrack. And I have a picture for you. 
the way this is designed, it is shelf stable, so the live vac keeps it alive in the shelf. So it is living bacteria that stays alive, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. But the bio track allows it to get into the large intestines with integrity, so the stomach acid doesn't destroy those friendly bacteria, and that's the secret. And so this is really going to populate those friendly bacteria in your large intestines when you need them. And so that's, that's what's the secret of this. And it's a very, very popular, very, very wonderful, wonderful supplement. And one, uh, one a day, or if you've been on an antibiotic for a while, you could even do two a day. This kit, as I talked about digestion, is a real value. So if you know someone that is suffering with digestion problems or immune problems and things like that, this would be fabulous because you could get your aloe, your digestive enzymes, and your probiotic all in one kit and save 24%. So just wanted to give you pass that savings along to you. All right. Now, some of you on the call or on the webinar may say, well, Dr. Cheryl, do I really need to supplement? I mean, don't I get it all from my food? Well, there's very credible resources here that says that we do not get it from our food. 93% of Americans did not meet the adequate levels of vitamin E. 56 did not meet the adequate levels of magnesium. 44 didn't meet levels of vitamin A, and 31 didn't even meet the levels of vitamin C. And that's just some of the things we're deficient in. Okay? So that is a very in uh, collaboration study, very credible in 2002, and it's not getting any better, folks. Our soil is very deficient in the way we grow our foods. It's not the same as it used to be. In fact, in 1950, to get 150 milligrams of vitamin C from a bowl of spinach, okay, by 1994, okay, you got only 13 milligrams of vitamin C in your bowl of spinach. And my next slide brings that home. To take today, to get what you got back then in 1950, you would need 12 bowls of spinach to equal one, okay, back then. So one bowl of spinach back then, today you'd have to do 12 bowls of spinach, okay. So we absolutely need to supplement. There isn't an option here in this country because your body has to have certain important nutrients in order for it to be healthy. Just like growing a garden, if it doesn't get fertilizer, you're going to have problems. And so when we look at the world of supplementation, you really need to take a look at science versus junk science because there's a lot of marketing in the in nutrition world and vitamin uh, supplementation. So I'm going to try to shine some light on that for you here. Now, when we look at the industry, it is a multi-billion dollar industry. And we go to the store and we look at these aisles and we say, my gosh, what do I need? How much do I need? It can be very, very confusing for the average person. So the popular brands that are out on the market, I want to show you what they're giving you. First of all, if you see so many different um, preservatives and labels, things like hydrogenated oil, things like number two, a blue aluminum lake dye, and number 40, red dye. Those are petroleum products. Hydrogenated oil is one of the worst things for your heart that you can possibly put in your body. Then you have uh, things like sodium benzenate and talc and titanium dioxide, all these chemicals and stuff. This is just not good. And binders and fillers that really sometimes don't, they don't even break down in the stomach. Then we're feeding them to our children as well. The same thing that we have going on with our adult formulas, we're throwing it into our children. Even aspartame, which is a known toxic chemical as a sweetener, is being snuck into your Flintstones vitamins for kids. So we really need to know what we're doing with vitamins and what's safe and what should we do. So this picture just shows you uh, the proof of what I just said. This is a centrum silver that was taken on three different days. As you can see, it's exiting out of the rectum the same way as it went in three days ago, undisturbed. So the stomach acid did not even break that down. So that's not the way you want to be supplementing. You really, really are throwing your money away. Now, when you buy a supplement or when you, when you put something into your body, you need to know where it comes from and is, is it um, a, a good manufacturing product. And the supplements that I'm talking about today are very pure. In fact, they pat, they're all GMP rated. 
They even pass Canadian standards. And then they are overseen by a huge quality control um, at corporate offices. Um, uh, and what the, the, Dr. Mark Lang does in our whole team is they do a double uh, batching test. So when the manufacturer sends in the product, if it's inferior, it actually gets sent back. So you know that you're getting, if it says it's got 100 milligrams of CoQ10 on it, or you're gonna, you know you're getting that, and you know you're getting a pure product. So that's very important to know about you know, your, your supplements. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the type of bioavailability. Okay? Supplements get absorbed in your body depending on how they're delivered. Now we have high quality tablets and I've talked about a few of those. Some of those are in our cleanse and those are not bad. They're good. Um, you can get you know, 40, 45% bioavailability. They should be taken with food most of the time like fish oils and things like that. But your low quality things like I just showed you that have binders and fillers you're basically getting zero out of. Now there is another form of supplementation called isotonic. And isotonics are a very powerful delivery system, and I'm going to teach you about that. Basically, they come in powders, and when mixed with water, they become the same osmotic pressure as your bodily fluids. And so, unlike a tablet, your stomach does not have to digest it, and so it gives you a much higher absorption rate. And the word isotonic, iso means the same, and tonic means pressure. So it means that these formulas, when mixed with the right amount of water, are similar to your tears, your plasma, your lymph, and your other bodily fluids. And so isotonics means that when you drink them on an empty stomach, they're going to go right into your small intestines. And I'll show you that here in this picture. So when you drink the isotonics on an empty stomach, the stomach says, I recognize you as myself, and so the little valve here at the bottom of your stomach says, come on in, and so it's going here, right into the small intestines, for 90% bioavailability, getting into your bloodstream. Unlike the tablet, that takes many times 40 minutes to 4 hours to digest, and it should be taken with food. So this is just a superior way, especially with certain nutrients, like things like calcium and minerals and bees and certain things that can be. Now not everything can be put in isotonic, but I'm going to be teaching you some of my favorites that you really should be taking on a regular basis if you want to live a long and healthy life. So the other key thing of isotonic is the potassium bicarbonate in there and the fructose, there is fructose made from fruit, is going to allow that formula not only to get the small intestine, but it's going to penetrate this mucus layer in the small intestine, so it's diving down into your bloodstream very, very quickly, and that's the design of this. And it's a very specific formulation in order to get that to happen. So there are many formulas, and I'm going to talk. About, I'm going to address some of the key uh, formulas tonight that I think are critical to your health. But these isotonics can be mixed together to make life simple into a wonderful juice. And so instead of drinking orange juice in the morning. You just do your isotonics and you get 90% bioavailability and most people love them. Now, there are many great studies as I showed you before. This is one from JAMA on 2002 that says that most people do not consume optimal amounts of vitamins by diet alone and need to be on a multivitamin. I think most people recognize that. So the isotonics, what I love about this formula is it's going to provide you 100% of your essential vitamins but it's also going to provide your minerals. And when you take minerals in a tablet formation, you're, you might as well be absorbing and taking in a rock. Now minerals are so critical to your health because without proper mineralization, you won't be able to absorb other things like vitamin C and vitamin B and all the nutrients that you need. And that is why we need them. And our soil is very deficient in minerals now. A deficiency of minerals can affect your body in a very uh, significant way. Things like diabetes, poor vision, lack of energy, imbalance of electrolytes, nervous system weakness. So don't, don't discredit this multivitamin with these essential minerals as a part of your program because it is foundational and it should be a part of what you're doing. And again, taking 
A multivitamin in tablet form with minerals is like asking your stomach to break down a rock. They just don't absorb. Okay, so we want to do this in an ionized format, which is the isotonics. So this is your formula. This is a 90 servings, uh, and um, I just absolutely love this product. It does come in a 30-day uh, servings as well. Easy to take and delicious. The next one that I want to talk about is the importance of antioxidants. And to understand antioxidants, you need to understand that all of us are exposed to what we call free radicals. As you can see, this apple turning brown on the left side of your screen, that's free radical damage right before your eyes. It's where, the, where an unpaired electron okay, is now unstable, and so it starts to steal electrons from a stable uh, paired electron. And that can happen from your own body's metabolism, uh, radiation, air pollution, infection, even strenuous exercise can cause free radical damage. I'm all for exercise, but it can. And we need to be taking in antioxidants that are going to remedy that. So antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E are what we call antioxidants because they donate a electron to the free radical. And these are very powerful, and they also work as teams. So you want a multiple host of antioxidants in your diet because vitamin C does one job, vitamin E does another, glutathione, which is produced in your liver, that's a very big antioxidant um, that we make, our body makes glutathione, selenium, and then these anthocyanidins, which I'm going to talk about here. And they all generate or actually work together. Now, proanthocyanidins, which actually come from many sources like grapeseed extract, pine bark extract, bilberry, and I'm going to go a little deeper, a little deeper into this. But these, if you can see this drawing, see these straight lines? These are electrons. And this has so many more electrons than even vitamin C. It is 20 times stronger than vitamin C, 50 times stronger than vitamin E as an antioxidant. So that's why the proanthocyanidins are so powerful as an antioxidant. And so I'm going to go into why I believe in this next product so much. It's called OPC3 with pycnogenol. Now, this has 125 milligrams of these proanthocyanidins and from different sources, the grape seed, the red wine, the pine bark, the bilberry, and the citrus extract. That combination is so powerful. And I'm going to go into a little more detail. So the OPCs are a very strong antioxidant. They also are an anti-inflammatory. So any type of pain that you're having, whether it be back pain, knee pain, arthritis, headaches, inflammation, basically, period, this is going to seek out and find that inflammation and start to work with it, almost like an Advil or a COX-2 inhibitor, but it doesn't have the side effects to the stomach. Um, it's also uh, very helpful for stabilization of blood glucose. So for diabetics or people that are wanting to lose weight or uh, also those that are suffering with joint problems, joint flexibility, arthritis, again, that kind of thing. Menstrual cramping for our women that are uh, struggling with painful periods, very helpful. It also builds collagen, so it's very good for healthy complexion and visual, uh, very healthy for um, the eyes, because we use a lot of antioxidants in our eye. And again, we have this very powerful anti-inflammatory. It works, it supports your body with healthy COX-2 levels and promotes normal NF-kappa B. If you're not in the medical field, don't worry about that. That's just a big fancy word to say it regulates inflammation. It's putting out the fire in your body. And trust me, people that use this, once you try it, if you're suffering with pain and inflammation, and maybe you've been taking Advil, you're running a real big risk for aspirin on a regular basis of getting ulcers and liver problems and kidney problems, where a product like this is going to help with the inflammation, but it's got all those healthy benefits besides being an anti-inflammatory. They did a clinical trial comparing OPC3 to a tablet format of OPC3, and they showed how the isotonic got in your bloodstream so much faster. As you can see here, in less than 10 minutes, it was almost to three units. It stayed much higher than your uh, tablet format. So we know that isotonics 
is, is really a superior delivery system looking at this study. And then um, there, was a, there was a huge study done on OPC3, and it was uh, published on PubMed.com. And I'm going to show this to you. It actually took 61 individuals, and they, they showed that it lowered metabolic syndrome symptoms, things like high blood pressure, cholesterol, and elevated blood glucose or blood sugars by 10 over 10 percent. And the other part of the study showed that OPC actually lowered C-reactive proteins by 52 percent. And C-reactive proteins are what we measure when you go get your blood work done to see if you're at risk for a heart attack or stroke. So, and that, that's systemic, so it helps if you're lowering those C-reactive proteins, that means it's lowering inflammation throughout your body. And it even increased ejection fraction in the left ventricle of your heart so you get better blood flow, so better uh, uh, circulation overall. Here's a quick testimonial that is a uh, picture is always worth a thousand words from one of our physicians that uses uh, OPC3. He had a 65-year-old female with a 30-year history of psoriasis with plaque on her feet. After six weeks of taking four caps a day, this is what happened to her. So I don't know about you, but you know when you look at this picture, you have to understand that that's not just happening to her feet. That's happening with her cells all over her body. The OPC is helping to put out free radical damage and to detoxify her. So that's very powerful to see that. The way you dose with it is if you're loading and you want to address some health issues or detoxification, three to four capsules per day. And then a maintenance dose would be one to two capsules per day. Uh, very, very powerful. All right. All right, the next one is calcium. We have a calcium deficiency going on in this country, as well as vitamin D and magnesium. And the calcium deficiencies can cause things like muscle cramps, spasms, heart palpitations. Uh, it also, things like gum recession is caused from calcium deficiency because one of the first places your body will steal calcium from is your jawbone when we're acidic. So it's very important to have the right calcium in your diet as well as doing some supplementation as well as vitamin D. Inadequate calcium can lead us to osteoporosis. We know that. And there is a huge increase of osteoporosis in our country right now. A lot of it is because our children aren't getting enough calcium. So I would actually recommend the calcium for your teenagers and definitely the multivitamin with calcium for the children, too, just to make sure they're getting enough. All right, so the calcium delivery is very important, again, because calcium is a mineral. And as we get older, our stomach acidity declines with age. We have less hydrochloric acid, so we don't digest calcium tablets very well. Um, and also, acid-blocking drugs also affect your calcium. So people that have been on, you know, uh, prescription acid-blocking drugs can be very deficient in calcium and be at risk for osteoporosis. So two caps a day of this particular calcium, it is ionized and it has five different elemental calciums and it's 375 milligrams at one dose, which is all your body can absorb at one time. So you want to dose it morning and night. And it also has a very uh, good amount of vitamin D3 as well as you can see 1,000 IUs of vitamin D3, as well as the proper ratio of magnesium for absorption and helping you with muscle cramps and leg cramps and things like that. And then the next one is a vitamin B. This is so critical to all of us because so many of us, again, vitamin B is not provided well in our diet. And things in our, our lifestyle destroy them, things like alcohol, does anybody do that? No, of course you do. I know, I know, you know most, most Americans enjoy that, but it does destroy our B vitamins. Sugar, coffee, stress. If you're answering any of these questions and you say yes, then you really, it's critical that you supplement with vitamin B, and I really believe everybody should, because it's not provided in the American diet anymore. A lot of the milling that we do to our grains, it destroys these B vitamins. Friendly bacteria um, is uh, synthesized by your B vitamins. So if you don't have enough B vitamins and you're not going to manufacture 
those friendly bacteria that you need. Things like sleeping pills, insecticides, estrogen can destroy your precious B vitamins, and of course sugar destroys them as well. So B vitamins actually, what do they do for us? Well, you cannot break down your carbohydrates or your protein without them, or your fats. They're essential to your hair, uh, your skin, your eyes, your muscle tone, and especially for the nervous system. And actually, panathenic acid is one of those that actually feeds the adrenal glands. And a lot of people have what we call adrenal exhaustion. And just having some panathenic acid can nourish the adrenal glands and help with irritability and depression and those kinds of things. So also, B vitamins lower homocysteine, which um, if you have elevated homocysteine, puts you at a high risk of heart attack and things like uh, cardiovascular risk. So it is critical, right? Now, there is new research with B vitamins that some of us don't methylate them from your diet. And there are three B vitamins, B6, folic acid, and B12. And if we don't break them down or methylate them, okay, genetically you might have been born with a gene that you just don't use them. So when you don't have that, now you can become deficient. And these B vitamins are so important because if you don't uh, process them, you may uh, be low in uh, maybe cognitive skills, language skills, uh, maybe serotonin or depression could be uh, uh, really affected here. So this is so critical. And as I said in this slide here, you'll see that impaired amino acid enzymes with B6, uh, if, if you don't have enough B6, uh, neurological and mental performance. A lot of times I put even children that are suffering with ADD or autism and I get them on these activated B vitamins and the OBC3 and they do beautiful because they've never, they haven't been methylating them and they're really, uh, their uh, symptoms uh, many times will subside. All right, so this is your B vitamin and again, these can all be mixed together. So going to help with your stress, your energy, support your heart. They come, you can buy them individually if you're listening into the webinar, but the best value is to buy them as a kit, and it's called a daily essential kit. You can get this whole kit for $139.95, and these are 90 servings of each bottle, so it's basically less than $2 a day, or if you do one of each, I think it's $1.56 a day um, to get these incredibly important nutrients, and again, you're getting 90% bioavailability, and that is so different. If you've been a vitamin taker and you've never tried isotonic, it is moving you to a whole new level, and you just have to try them. If you like convenience, they also come in little individual packets, so instead of mixing, you can buy them this way and just dump the, or empty the packet into the water, and they're great for travel or people that are really busy and on the go. So they're both available for you. All right. Now, I know some of you on the webinar are like, after the new year, you have New Year's resolutions, you're like, tell me how to get this weight off, and I need it off, and I need to keep it off. Naturopathically, I will say that diets do not work. In, fa in fact, they are part of the problem. So many people do fad crash dieting. Please don't do that because it will fail you and you'll only get heavier. Okay? So if you're ready to lose the weight and keep it off, I want to share with you a very simple program that I personally believe in and have proven it, have coached people, and it works amazingly. So if you answered yes to that, then let me show you where diets go wrong. First of all, crash dieting many times when you lower your calories or you take away food groups, you will lose weight. But guess what you're losing? You're losing muscle. And when you lose muscle, you will now slow your metabolism down. And when you gain the weight back, you go back to eating a normal diet, you won't gain the muscle back. You'll gain fat back. And now maybe you go back to your normal weight, but that weight looks different on you because now you are actually fitting differently in your clothes because the inches around your waist because you've gained body fat, not muscle. So again, bad diets don't work. We want to we want to have you on a program that targets this fat and preserves or even builds muscle. And that's going to give you that lean, willowy, strong, beautiful body that you're looking for and give you the health that you're looking for. So I'm going to go this real quick 
Um, if, you, if you want to get more information, you can actually ask the person who invited you, and there's a recorded webinar that I did on this in more detail. But basically, it's all basically dependent on keeping your blood sugar stable. This program is going to put you into the fat burning zone by giving you foods that stabilize your blood sugar. Unlike the American diet that keeps your blood sugar going high and low and high and low, and when you're doing that, you are storing body fat, and instead of burning fat, when you're high, you're storing glucose, and when you're low, your metabolism is slow. So this is the concept, and the foods and the supplements will put you in this fat burning zone, and the fat just melts off your body like where you want it to melt off. So if you're ready to lose fat pounds and inches and keep them off, I highly recommend what I call the 30-day fat blaster program. And basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to lose weight, fat, and inches. You're going to boost your metabolism, curb your cravings, and increase your energy. And then the whole program also is going to target your anti-inflammatory, so put you in better health and stabilize your blood sugar and look and feel great. The program involves real food. You're going to be going to the store and picking out your, some of your favorite foods and have fun with it. We're going to provide you with a complete food list, but you're going to be eating amazing food. Now, this is not a low-carbohydrate diet. You will be eating things like sweet potatoes and black beans and certain carbs that will satisfy you. So you're not just eating salad and protein. You're going to be getting a lot of food here, but it's the right type of food, and you're going to be eating pretty much all day long. So just to show you some of our success stories, this is Laura, who lost over 32 pounds in 12 weeks. She's now down almost 40 pounds, and that's just, uh, I think, three weeks added on to this program. 14 inches and six from her waist. Look at this. She's holding about six inches of fabric in just 12 weeks. This is her new baseline, and she's well on her way to losing the next 30 pounds. Jen lost over 20 pounds and 16% body fat. Look at the difference in this young woman. What amazing how her life has turned around, and it can happen so quickly for people. Bobby Wolf, which is a good friend of mine, she's now down 10 pounds, but after six weeks, look, she lost two and a half inches in her waist. How would you like to lose two and a half inches in your waist in, in, in 30, 30 days or six weeks? It can happen, and it can happen for you. So the Fat Bluster program includes all your supplements. I'm not going to have time to go into them. Again, get with the person that invited you to this, and they can direct you and send you a webinar that we did with more detail. Um, but we're also going to be recommending your exercise program for you, because that's part of it. And then you're going to get an accountability coach to keep you accountable so you stay on track for that 30 days, learning your new lifestyle and guaranteeing your success. And the whole program, with all of that put together, normally would be over $400, but right now they're running a special on it where you can get it for only $269. So if you're ready to lose weight, I can't recommend a better, more effective weight loss program. It just it really works. So uh, Rebecca um, out of Orlando, I just love this picture. So proud of you. Uh, lost over 35 pounds in 2014. Look at the difference. Look at Look at the shape of her, and, and she's just smiling. And that can be you. It can happen for you. And uh, I, I totally endorse this program. I believe that, that it can work for you. So your next steps after this webinar, get with the person that invited you. Get your questions answered. They will support you and help you get on your journey to optimal health. And I want, just want to say to you, if not now, when? It's time to take that first step on the journey to a new you, whether you're on this webinar and you have a health challenge or you're on and you want to lose weight. This type of program really can be life-changing. I, uh, I have used these uh, supplements for over 16 years, and I have seen some absolutely amazing life-changing life results with them. So I hope that you will take action and really put yourself first because without your health, what do you have? How would you like to be up into your 60s and 70s and look you know, young and fit? It takes taking care of yourself in order to accomplish that. Look at this, uh, uh, Sophia Loren. She's my hero. But um, you know, I plan on living uh, to be a ripe old age, but I want to do it right. 
I don't know about you guys, but health is the most important thing we possess, and I hope you take action and do something for yourself and make sure that you are taking care of your body because you, it's going to last you a long time. So many blessings, and I just want to thank you guys. And uh, Rebecca, do you have anything to add? No, uh, we did have one question. Are you taking any questions, Dr. Cheryl? Uh, sure, sure, that would be fine. We had one question about autoimmune um, disease and, and those types of issues that people are faced with. Okay. Um, yeah, as I spoke, a lot of autoimmune diseases are directly related with the digestive system, and there's a lot of good research about leaky gut syndrome. So you really want to work with the small intestines in the gut, the things like the aloe and the digestive enzymes and the probiotics should, should be a part of every person that is challenged with autoimmune. And I would, you know, I would do a heavier dosing with the aloe than just uh, two caps. I would probably do four to six caps a, a day for a while, uh, separate it out in two ounce doses. Make sure you're on probiotics. Um, the digestive enzymes would be good. The other one that's really good, I didn't talk about it, um, in the cleanse, uh, there is a standalone product in the NutriClean line called uh, the fiber, and that has L-glutamine in it. And now glutamine is used in hospitals to help to uh, uh, work with the intestines. So you want to do that, and then you want to address your uh, antioxidants, because antioxidants like your OPC3 uh, can be very powerful for your immune system. And those are the things that you know, can really, really uh, be of great benefit, as well as just eating healthy and uh, the complete greens would be good too for alkalinity. So, but you got to get to the root cause. You know, if you start doing anti-inflammatories and steroids and all that kind of stuff, it's a band-aid approach, and they will have side effects. So, I'm always encouraging people to uh, work with their body and try to get more developed into the root cause of it. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I think that concludes our webinar. Okay. Well, I hope everybody has a wonderful evening, and I uh, we'll look forward to next week's uh, series of webinars. And, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, – I really enjoyed uh, educating everybody, and I uh, hope you have a, a great evening.